Hello guys, this is Dynamite 3000 for the second time and uh, today this is what many of you have waited for this is the second version of the template for the Universal Studios intro um, and I've been waiting uh, to do this tutorial for very long because there will be very very uh, many improvements that I have made uh, within this file um, it will not only be easier for you to edit it, but it will uh, be easier to render it too. So uh, you can do it also with systems that don't have as much power as mine have, for example. Okay, um, this will be very very easy. Just um, to tell you, um, even if you're not very used to Blender, you'll be able to do this. Okay, as you can see, I have modeled uh, the whole, uh, alphabet. Uh, for America, Germany, um, for the English language, I mean, um, so you can use it for, yeah, nearly everything you want to write, uh, unless you come from a country where you don't use these letters. But well, um, yeah, it's quite easy. As you can see, we still have the universal here, and um, to edit this, we just go into this layer. You just hit that. And then you can grab the letters you want and write whatever you want to write. What I now want to write, uh, I don't have any numbers here because they're not very often used. Um, but I write uh, Dynamite domain 3000 again. Uh, so D N M N. This is my letters, and I'll delete everything with Shift and right click. I um, select the letters that I do not want so everything but D, M and N with C I can do this like that and then delete them with X yeah with right clicking and selecting and then just uh, moving them with the uh, arrows here and then bring it in into the order that I want. The next thing is I take this, uh, say Shift D, and then move this down here. So I copied it. These are now several objects. And what we now have to do is uh, to make them fit to the universal. Um, what is not the case in this example is that um, the words don't have the same length. Um, if you're doing this, you should uh, look for the same length of the words so it fits nice and perfect with the timing, for example. But now I just stretch them up so that they fit with the new little. Okay, this doesn't look too great, but uh, just for demonstration. Okay, so this is everything. Uh, that you have done by now and what you now shall do is you move them so that this point uh, fits with the uh, uh, universal even though it is not yet bent then you take uh, select them with shift one after the other and then at last the first one and then you say control J and you have now merged the letters to one object with G, by the way, you move like this. Okay, and the universal one, uh, you might now look at the layers everywhere. You have now a yellow dot. You see, this is the layers where um, the letters are active. So this one, this one, and this one. And you might now memorize them. And yeah, just select this one and delete it. By the way, the letters are all on this layer, just so you know it. Okay, I've now deleted this, as you can see, and these layers, uh, these letters, are now move to the layers that we have memorized before. Okay, and what you now are doing is uh, you'll take that layer down here and the letters, and you now go and first select the letters, then with shift right click the bones here 
and it doesn't matter if it looks like that and you just say control P and then well, select parent with automatic weights and yeah that's it um, just select all the layers and now you can see if you go to object mode it all fits it's already fine and dandy okay and yeah this is as easy as it is then the next thing you want to look is uh, which size do you want I of course choose a, a normal full HD and I use PNG because uh, this is nice for me um, but you can also use a movie and I'd uh, put it together later on to a movie. I'll show you how to do that too. And here you choose uh, the path you want to um, render it to. Um, the rest should be fine. And this is the most important thing you want to look at. So um, I've set the samples to 50. This is not enough, I'd say, for uh, to have it look really, really good. You should take about 500 and as you can see if we now just render it there's not much fireflies and this is what we want at the end so um, there are only two layers left here and this is all what I have improved what I did was I pre-rendered everything else but this yeah uh, you, that was a stupid frame ah uh, let's do it like this um I eliminated all the layers that uh, would have always been the same and yeah just pre-rendered it and saved it in this file and it will be automatically put into the background uh, after these letters okay what you might do is uh, while have the letters selected go to the object settings and change the pass index to 2 and if that's done and you have the right version which is uh, 2.74 and makes all this possible you just hit F12 to make a um, example render and to look if it all works and I think this should be all. Mm -hmm. Yes, as you can see, it works now. And of course, it looks a little bit empty now. But yeah, just try to avoid such holes in the middle of the letters okay and this should be all make sure you have selected all the layers and then just look what fits for you how many samples you want if I put them to 10 for example you see that there are much much more fire fireflies but uh, it goes a little bit quicker yeah and if you just have a CPU or not that a good graphics card uh, you should look that you take lower samples I would recommend about 200 so that it looks yeah fine but not very perfect 500 for a good animation and 1000 if you're if you have the monster PC for something really perfect okay Let's then render it uh, either as a video or as an uh, image. I would also always recommend PNG because then you have um, less quality. Um, yeah, you have more quality. And yeah, and this is how you put it together. You go on video editing. Yeah, first thing is, of course, you open a new file. Go on video editing and I've uh, already put uh, set it up a little bit uh, you want to put this to the um, to the size you have chosen here then you will 
um, take the path where you have rendered all your images and then go to AV JPEG which is for me the best you could also take AV raw this is the highest quality just H264 um, yeah this is all your preferences and you have and make sure you have 24 frames per second and then you go on add image and then you add make sure you're here on frame one you add all the images you have I'll just do this uh, once um, where do I have them like for example here this would be an animation that I've done the last days okay and you look um, here you can see there is uh, a number which is in this case 250 and this tells you how many images there are um, yeah you can see this with uh, when you've rendered it would be another um, number but you will just have to change this one here okay and then you go on animation again and it should render it as a video and then you can use for example movie maker uh, which is also freeware or another um, program to add the audio to it which you can download in YouTube for example yeah and that should be it um, I will make a video in the next days where I show uh, how the compositing works because uh, this was also recommended that I tell you uh, how I've done this and this should be for all you who just want to make the intro I hope you've understood everything if not just write me and I will answer and yeah that's it have fun with it and if you have any results I'd like to see them goodbye um, there are two last things I forgot. One was um, the path tracing tiles, uh, what you want them to put at. Um, I'm entering with GPU and uh, I found out that uh, 400 by 400 would be perfect. You can find them in the render settings. Um, if you're rendering with CPU, for example, I would recommend something lower, about 64 by 64 maybe. Um, which is also the default value in Blender and yeah, just try it out what fits you best uh, it makes a big difference later on with rendering the second thing is um, as I've pre-rendered the whole thing uh, it is included in a video you can also download in the description and what you have to do then is you go on file external data and then on find missing files and then just choose um, the path where everything is located, what you've downloaded and then extract it. And then every sh everything should work just fine. And if not, just contact me and I included the numbers at the end. Well, so thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.